Start. Man, 29 minutes and 57 seconds left. Hi everyone, welcome back to HGTV Handmade. Today is the beginning of another challenge week. Yes, we are tackling the age old classic paint chip challenge. But there's a twist. We only have 30 minutes. And unlike our other challenges, we're all here in the same place. Another fun part of this is that we're all tackling a different project. So now I'm going to pick mine out of the cup. Oh, I hope I get something good. <laughs> Okay, so, Julia, what'd you get? I got gift tags. Ooh. Marianne. I got artwork. Fun. Uh, I got bunting. Cool. Oh, how appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> you love your bunting? I got greeting card. Oh, I like it. I'm excited. Yeah. All right, Karen, it's your day, so why don't you get started? Oh, man, I'm nervous. All right. Time to go craft. So I am ready to get started on the paint chip challenge. So my project that I picked out of the hat is bunting and I love bunting. So if you don't know what bunting is, um, you might wanna look at my necklace. It's basically a banner often with um, triangles hanging down from it, often used in a celebration, but these days it's kind of just a home decor item. So I have picked my supplies from the craft supply table and obviously I have paint chips and I picked this book that has a whole bunch of bright colors and I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna use to hold it all together. So I have a few different options of string and then I have some normal scissors as well as some decorative scissors and I'm thinking my idea is I'm gonna cut a lot of decorative patterns into the edges of the bunting and kind of layer the colors on top of each other. So we'll see if that works. Um, obviously I'll need something to hold all those layers together. So I have a glue stick and I have some tape. So I think I'm ready to get started. Oh, I'm so nervous. Actually, like right as I'm starting is when I'm starting to get really nervous. Let's just go for it. Start. I'm in 29 minutes and 57 seconds left. The first thing I'm gonna do is just go through all of these paint chips and just tear out any bright colors that I like. And I'm gonna try to sort them by color because I kind of, I think I might wanna layer similar colors on top of each other. That's kind of where my head's at right now. So I just discovered that I can actually open this ring. So I'm actually just gonna take them all off the ring. So for my first flag that I'm gonna make for my bunting, I chose these three colors because they're they kind of, they're in the same color family. I think they'll look really nice on top of each other. So I'm just gonna pick a decorative scissor. Too many choices. All right, I'm just gonna go for this one, which is a simple scallop. So a slight change of plan. I'm actually going to cut a pattern out of a color that I don't think I'm going to use. So I'm just folding it in half so that my triangle can be completely symmetrical. And I think I'm gonna use that as a pattern for all of my other ones. So now I'm just going to use my scissors to kind of cut a nice decorative edge, just a straight line across, um, across my colors. And now to hold them together, I'm just gonna use a glue stick. I'm just going to use my, uh, my pattern right on top of what I just made, and I'm going to cut it out. It doesn't have to be super perfect as long as you know the shapes are reasonably similar. I think we're okay. <laughs> and there we go. We have bunting piece number one, and that only took me just over five minutes. So I think if we make at least maybe like six of these, that'll be a reasonable enough bunting craft. So now I just have to um, pair up all of the colors for what colors I want the rest of my bunting to be. And I'm thinking I might do, um, kind of a, a rainbow. So if I start from warm colors here and then the will have three colors and then move on into cool colors, I think that might look kind of cool. Kind of, kind of cool colors. So I'm just kind of eyeballing this. My colors are not perfect, but um, obviously I only have 30 minutes and now I'm down to 21 minutes. And to give it a little more visual interest, I think I'm gonna use a different scrapbook scissor for each one. And I don't know if that's gonna look good. It might look terrible. It might be way too much, but we're gonna find out. So now that I have all of my pieces cut out, it's time to start gluing. And I've decided to do this in kind of an assembly line format, because I think that'll be a little bit quicker than like doing one and then starting from scratch and doing the next and then starting from scratch and doing the next. I'm just kind of using my first one to measure the distance of the colors, because I think having 
that one element the same will make it look more cohesive. So as I said earlier, I do a lot of bunting. I think it's a really fun decoration. I recently did a video where I made bunting out of uh, paper straws. That one was cool because you got a lot of uh, negative space. I've also done bunting out of maps because you guys know that maps are one of my favorite textures. Okay, so I just finished gluing and I have just over 15 minutes left. So actually I think I'm doing all right because cutting out these shapes is not gonna take a million years. So as I'm cutting them out, I'm just laying my first one right on top so I can just cut around it. And then they all end up being the exact same triangle shape. And since I glued them all um, the same distance apart, I actually think it looks really nice. I was a little worried, but I'm really liking how it's coming out so far. I have 13 and a half minutes left and I've just finished making six of these little triangles, which um, I'm gonna attach to some string. So since this is a timed challenge, I think I'm gonna play it safe and just use the neutral colored brown twine. And I could go for one of the other crazy colors, but I'm afraid that would look bad and then I'd have to redo it and then I might run out of time and then my craft would be really bad. So the first thing I'm gonna do with the string is um, measure out maybe like a foot, just, I mean, I probably won't need that much to tie a loop, but just so I have it. And then I'm gonna attach the first one. And for this, I'm just using scotch tape. Oh man, eight and a half minutes left. I actually, I'm doing really good on time, so I'm not actually too worried right now. Uh, I'm sure I can finish this and it'll be reasonably decent, which for a timed challenge, I think is about all that you can ask. Now that all of them are attached, I'm just gonna trim off any excess tape that's peeking out over the sides. And I'm gonna be really careful not to cut the string because if I do that, I'll have to start over with the taping and I will lose some precious, some precious minutes. So last thing, I'm just gonna tie a loop in the ends of the string so that if we wanted to, we could hang it up. So I think we're pretty much done, but I still have four minutes left. So I'm just gonna clean up a little bit of the extra tape that you can still see peeking over the edge because I think that makes it look a little messy, a little rushed, and I want mine to look perfect because I am great at time management and still have four minutes left. I have two whole minutes left. So I think I'm just gonna talk to you guys about what I like about this project, what I might do differently if I had, you know, two hours. So I really love how the stripe is just kind of one continuous stripe all the way across. And I like how each triangle has a different pattern on it. I was afraid it might be a little bit too much, but I actually think they came out really cute because they're each a little bit different. If I had more time and different supplies, I would punch a hole in the corner of each triangle rather than just taping them. I also, if I had another 30 minutes, might make a back for it because right now the back is just the back of the paint chips. So if I could do them double-sided, then you'd have more options on where to hang it. I also might have, if I had you know unlimited time, color in the edges of the paper with a marker that is the same color as the paint chip because right now the white edges are a little distracting, not a huge thing, but I tend to be a perfectionist. 10 seconds left. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. I wonder if I'm gonna finish on time. Two, one. <gasps> there it is. I'm done, my hands are up. I am finished with my rainbow bunting and I think it came out super cute. It was done in honestly about 25 minutes, so it's a super quick craft. They're like teeth. It's like, it's like I'm a dragon with really bright teeth. <laughs> I cannot wait to see what the other girls came up with.